Good morning students, welcome back. Today in this video we are going to learn about punctuations. Okay, first we will understand what exactly is a punctuation. Now in English language we have got a system of symbols which is known as punctuation. Okay, a system of symbols which is known as punctuation. Why do we need or why do we use punctuation? We use punctuation marks to give a structure to our sentence. Okay, we use punctuation mark to give a structure to our sentence and also how it should be read. Okay, so these are the two uses, these are the two needs why we need a punctuation. Okay, there are many punctuation marks and we are going to discuss it one by one. Okay, now we are going to see what all punctuation marks are used and why are they used. The first one is full stop. Why do we use a full stop? We use full stop to mark the end of a sentence. Example, my name is Elvis. We put a full stop and a full stop looks like a dot. Okay, my name is Elvis, full stop. What is the punctuation mark indicating? It is indicating that it is the end of a sentence. Okay, the second one is comma. Why do we use comma? Comma is used for a natural pause. Meaning we have to stop for a little while. Okay, that is one use. And the other use of comma is to separate the items in a list. Example, Mohan likes eating banana, apple, grapes, etc. Okay? Meaning, all these items, all the fruits name that was there in my example, these all need to be separated by a comma. Okay? So the first use is, we, it is used for a natural pause. And the other use is to separate the items in a sentence or a list. Okay? The third one is a question mark. Why do we need question mark? Because it denotes a question. It is used to uh, it is used to ask question. Whenever we are asking question, it is used at the end of a sentence to mark the end of a question. How are you? We put a question mark because we are asking some question. Okay? Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark is used to express sudden feeling or a dramatic expression. Okay, stop. We put an exclamation mark. Okay, don't run into the lane. Exclamation mark. Where we are speaking out of sudden, sudden feeling, to express sudden feeling. Hurra, wow. These all are places where we use the exclamation mark. The next one is quotation mark. What is the use of quotation mark? Now, before telling about this, we have studied about direct and indirect speech. You remember that in direct speech, we were putting the direct speech within the quotation mark. Okay, and in indirect speech, we were bringing out of it. So, the use of quotation mark is to show the direct speech of a person. Okay. Then we have parentheses or we can also call it as round brackets. Why are round brackets used? Round brackets are used to give extra information. Okay, providing with an extra information in a sentence. Example, I love visiting James. Now I open the bracket and write, he is my best friend, close the bracket. So what extra information I provided is that James is my best friend. My sentence was, I like visiting James and within the bracket, just after James, I wrote, he is my best friend. So I am providing with an extra information which has to be in bracket. Okay? Slash. What is the use of slash? Okay. In our daily life, we are making use of slash. I will tell you when. Slash is generally used to indicate all. O-R-R. He likes to go on 
स्विमिंग क्लासेस स्विमिंग और फुटबॉल क्लासेस स्विमिंग एंड फुटबॉल कैन बी डिवाइडेड कैन बी डिवाइडेड यूजिंग स्लैश स्विमिंग और डांसिंग क्लासेस स्विमिंग और प्लेइंग क्लासेस एंड ऑल वी कैन सेपरेट वी कैन यूज द स्लैश सिंबल टू इंडिकेट ऑल ओके now there is one more use for slash that is while writing dates we can also uh, use slash to separate the day month and year okay so that is one more use of slash the other use the other the punctuation is hyphen what is a hyphen you can see a dash over here hyphen is used to join or separate the syllables example she is self confident okay she is self confident now over here self confident is separated by hyphen okay we can also write uh, to join to join the syllables that is he is four years old four years old so that is why hyphen the use of hyphen is to join or separate the syllables over here that he is self confident she is 4 years old we are joining and separating the syllables so these all are the basic punctuation marks that we have learnt in this video okay so for now we shall keep it till here in the next video we shall discuss a new topic thank you